All right, we are here. Michael just um, put away his wine, I mean his uh, bourbon barrel, and I figured we should do a wine cellar tour as well. Um, I don't know if he wants to share a whole bunch, but it's pretty darn cool. So, you want to give us a quick tour? Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, when we moved into this house, we uh, I had a small collection of wine, and uh, this cellar holds a lot more than I'll ever collect. It holds about 800 bottles, but. Uh, Anyhow, there's some pretty cool wine in here if you know anything about wine. Uh, yeah, and you always store it at 55, it says up mm -hmm. here. It has its own system. Yes, temperature control. Yep. Which, and I granitized the walls to make it look kind of cool and modern, if you will. But yeah, we've got some really good stuff in here that we're aging. Uh, I don't know if your people know much about wine, but we've got some Mouton Rothschild, which is one of the first uh, growths of France. Uh, this year was what 2001. We've got a couple of those. Um, Penfolds Grange. This was rated 99. This is a 1998, I believe. Really? Yeah, rated 99. Uh, bought a couple bottles of that. I have no idea, but that sounds. That's sounds from cool. Australia. It's Barossa Barossa wine. That's that's New World, right? Hmm? New World wine. New World. Yeah. I'd Australia, South Africa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah United yeah. States. Yep. yep. Australian wine. Um, I mean, I, I I go towards the French wines a lot. So you like the deep oak Chateau stuff. Latour. That's another uh, first growth French Ooh. wine. Yeah. One of the best wines in the world right there. Really? Yep. So some of these you've had in here for like almost a decade then. Oh, well, yeah. Well, some of these wines I've had longer than a decade, but I mean, I, that one I think is a, I don't even know what year it is. 96? Oh, yeah. So I was six. <laughs> yeah, so they would, you know, those wines will hold for 30, 40 years. Yeah. Uh, they're just a collection. I keep it French, Italian, uh, got some Brunellos. Mm -hmm. uh, here's a beautiful. Oh, that's a special. That's a Magnum. It's a bigger bottle of a reserve Brunello. So what? What? What's a Brunello? I have no idea. That's actually where we're heading. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, to uh, in Italy, it's a um, uh, Sangiovese wine. Yeah, that's the grape. So that's a region in Italy, and you're actually going to visit. Yes. Yeah, we're going to do some tours. Nice. There and uh, very but, cool. Anyhow. Just yeah. want to kind of show you guys just really quick the the setup. You got, got some upper shelf stuff up there. What's that? Some of the better wines that I've yeah. had over the years, special wines. Very cool, awesome. And fifty five degrees is what you recommend, right? In fact, this is your your mom and I's first date. Really? Uh, not that one. This one right here. First date. Yep. And you saved. The, oh, that's great. Yeah. Saved the bottle. Yep. Very cool. Yep. Alrighty guys, well that's it. I just wanted to show you kind of a quick rundown. Obviously we can't do all the bottles, but pretty cool stuff. Thank you for showing, Michael. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's it.